welcome back. I'm just going to, this uh, morning, uh, the rest of the morning will be, I'm going to talk a little bit more about heterotaxy, which will um, emphasize some of the points that we've already been talking about this morning. Uh, then we'll have an opportunity to do some scanning as well. So, what is the definition of um, heterotaxy? Heterotaxy comes from the Greek. Uh, heteros means variable, and taxis uh, means arrangement. So, uh, a variable arrangement um, of structures that have right left asymmetry. This is a nice uh, little picture that appeared in the New York Times actually, showing um, some of the abnormalities below the diaphragm and above the diaphragm that we see uh, with heterotaxy. So when, technically speaking, heterotaxy, when we're talking in terms of the fetal heart and complex congenital heart disease, it's a disordered laterality of the abdominal viscera and the thoracic organs and the heart and the cardiac segments. So there are multiple abnormalities of the structures and how they're arranged with each other. Not just of the heart, but of other structures um, above and below the diaphragm. <coughs> talking, talking about organs that have right-left asymmetry. Uh, they can, these can develop mirror image anatomy. The right could be looking like a left, and the left could be looking like a right, or somewhere in the middle. It doesn't have to be completely one or the other. Um, so when we talk in terms of subtypes, subtypes of heterotaxy, like right atrial isomerism, or asplenia, or uh, bilateral left-sidedness, or polysplenia. Uh, we, we, try to we try to put patients into one of two different categories. But I, I honestly think that we should consider heterotaxy as a spectrum of disease, because many patients have feature, features of one or the other. They're not completely heterotaxy, not completely asplenia, rather, or polysplenia, they're somewhere in the middle. 